Okay, so we're getting close to the end. Uh, these are the common offenses that I could think of that could affect our society and affect us in the masjid or the madrasa situation. The assault common, assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm, GBH, attempted murder, malicious injury to property, housebreaking with the intent to steal and theft. That is with our breakings that is currently taking place. So just to go into that, now, there is no way, unfortunately, if you've got a committee or so forth, if you've got a committee in a masjid, and let's say, for example, and as we know out of past history, fights take place in a masjid, unfortunately. Skirmishes take place in a masjid, unfortunately, and it can happen in the madrasa environment as well. So, the trustees and the imamat of that masjid can deal with it internally with a limited extent in for the purpose of having suluh call in the two brothers and see if they're going to deal with it within the masjid environment. But if one lays a complaint within the South African law, the law is going to take its course, unless the complainant decides to withdraw the charges. You might have a tough prosecutor who's going to say, no, we're going to proceed with the matter, and then that's a whole lot of other things. I'm not going to delve in that. Phone me if you're sitting with that problem, inshallah. So, but... The committee and the trustees are, are limited in that circumstances. You cannot set up a code of conduct within the masjid to say that the judicial officer on that complaint is going to be the imam or we're going to set up a different set of judicial officers. If it's going to be an employee, one of the assistant imams, masjid or that, and you want to deal with his or her actions within a work environment, good and well. But if the assistant imam was assaulted by one of the musallis and he says, I want to proceed with a criminal matter, let's just call it a, a smack for now, you can't stand in his way. If he wants to proceed with it under the criminal law, then so be it. 